Guys, Quinn here with uh, Mid Earth Crypto and Corey Clipston. Corey Clipston. I didn't from, know it was Clipston. From right. GiveBitcoin.com. IO. .io. 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 All right. Give me a quick rundown, elevator pitch of what is Give Bitcoin. There you go. Uh, what we like to say is give plus time lock plus educate equals Bitcoiner. And this is basically a scaled evangelism platform where you, if you're into Bitcoin, you want to get friends and family into Bitcoin, you can give your cousin Jenny $100 worth of Bitcoin. Uh, you time lock it for minimum one year, maximum five years. So she can't sell it for Ripple or like USD coin or something right. like that. And, uh, and then over the next 12 months, we give Jenny an incredible education uh, sculpted by people like Jan Pritzker and Saif Dina Moose and Stefan Levera and Matt O'Dell and kind of like the best the best minds in Bitcoin um, to try to get them hooked, try to get them understand it and try to get them to uh, go down the rabbit hole uh, faster. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're that minting new awesome. Bitcoiners. I have a question. So you say you give them Bitcoin, right? And you lock it in a time contract, right. I assume, and that yeah. they then are educated. How are you giving them the Bitcoin? Because we're doing right now a tour where mm -hmm. we go around interviewing people and one of the biggest points of failure that we found, even with people that are willing to accept Bitcoin, is the process of downloading the wallet, yep. the registration, the private keys, all of that is just created. I've had three yeah. or five out of 10 people that will just stop halfway through yeah. the process and leave me. So yeah. how are you actually yeah. giving them the Bitcoin? Basically, we try to remove as much friction as possible. So we're really optimizing for uh, safe and easy. And that does mean using a custodian on the back end. Okay. Um, the benefit of that is you can give Bitcoin, you know, I could be at this conference and as soon as we're live here in the next couple of weeks, I could give, you know, $1,000 of Bitcoin in $10 increments to, you know, 100 people, 10 bucks each. Only the ones that actually sign up for an account and accept the gift, uh, only okay. then does the transaction go through. So it's not like you're wasting your paper wallets. You're not wallets. wasting it, exactly. Okay. That's the problem with the paper wallets or, or then, you know, maybe you have to like maintain your key. Right. The gift is gone. You don't own that Bitcoin. You have no access to it after they accept. It's like a double opt-in gift. Hmm. And so how do they receive it? Just through an email registration? Or? Email, yeah. So all you need is somebody's email address. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, uh, no KYC? Uh, KYC on the receiver side, okay. um, but it's pretty. Prime Trust has a, you know a good database, and they're hooked into everybody, so it's actually just a license upload. So, so this would just be a, an license. email sends them a contract that they sign up for, and, and yeah, you just like usual, you know, accept checkbox terms and conditions, enter okay. your name, create a username. Sure. Email but this is address, a way for you it. to be on the street and have it quickly occur, and then super fast. That's awesome. Super okay. fast. Yeah, it, it really is like a mini to mini evangelism platform that we've Sweet. built. It's like a utility. Right. We and, we we think about this a lot, like like Twitter or something like that. It yeah. should just be like that easy. That easy. And who is we when you say we've built it? Who's the team? Our company, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's uh, it's myself, got a CTO, got a CPO, head of products. Who's, you know, those guys both have multiple exits. Our CTO has built like a $2 billion revenue business, Okay. Um, you know, as a founder. How long have um, you guys been working on the project together? We had the idea uh, April 10th, so six months ago. Sweet. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of like we, we broke ground after. So we did the designs in like May, June, and we broke ground on the coding uh, July 1st. Um, All right. So, yeah. And so, as far as where are you guys at to launch point right now? You think you know So we're in weeks? alpha right now. Okay. So we have about 20 people banging around and sending us bugs and stuff. And we're right. just kind of like going through those in Trello yeah. as, as one does. And then uh, hopefully by next week, we'll actually have transactions live and we'll open the beta, which is about a thousand people that have signed up. Right. Um, we're here at CIS. So if you're watching this like live right now or, you know, as soon as this airs, if you go to cis.givebitcoin.io, you can actually get into the beta and be nice. one of those first thousand people. Sign it up. Use my referral link. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you will have a referral link. We'll, awesome. we'll give you one. Um, and then we'll go live to everybody probably in like two to three weeks. Two to three weeks. So in time yeah. for Christmas. Yes. That's big deal. Is that the, yeah. I was so it, so this is actually a really good point and I'm glad you brought it up. Um, so it is definitely, there is a give side to the platform, but we actually think most of the transactions will actually have happen through the get side. The get side. So you can get Bitcoin. You can put it on your wish list oh. and you can tell all of your friends and family that That's you don't awesome. want a sweater, yeah. you want Bitcoin Give me for my birthday, Bitcoin. graduation, wedding, Christmas, That's whatever. Cool. Uh, we say, uh, you know, go fund yourself with and Bitcoin. Then, and then the people could just send it the same way? <laughs> yeah. So a question, if you've already registered, say you're, you're signed up and you have your coins locked in custody, yeah. can I receive more coins to the same yes. address? Yeah, yeah. So it's not yeah, just yeah. one It's just an account. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, just it's a, a custodial account it's at Prime a, Trust. A Prime Trust account is up because it's locked, right? It's a Bitcoin savings account. I need to do yeah. that for myself just so that I can yeah. spend my own Bitcoin. People sometimes. talk about it like a CD or like sure. a short term yeah. bond or something like that. Um, now, so the third way you can use it, so you can give, you can get, you can also purchase for yourself. 
and you can you know you can use the time lock or not right and so oh. we already have some people playing around and they've come up with a hashtag uh, called hashtag proof of hodl okay which is basically like you can buy bitcoin for yourself lock it up for five years and then post on twitter i got you that you are actually part of the to be a yeah. hodler okay <laughs> so i that, like that a lot that should be fun we'll see how that goes do you think that this is going to be something that catches on as far as i'm already the way i think about it is a savings account absolutely like yeah. keeping myself from spending my own bitcoin because for me i'm in the collection yeah. phase right now with a long-term thought of you know five ten years is when i'll use this but yeah. i often find myself like okay maybe i'll liquidate some to pay bills, the idea of locking yeah. it up against myself is great. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not gonna push it super hard because like the education is, is all about, I mean, we really wanna push people to be full Bitcoiners and take them on the path towards self-sovereignty. So we do a lot of education about uh, cold storage, okay. nodes, privacy, you know. Um, Bitcoin only? Coin joins, Bitcoin only, 100%. Okay. Yeah, we, we wouldn't recommend anyone uh, do a disservice to their friends by sure. giving them uh, don't Alt don't, coins. Alt coins. So com, we'll call them a maximalist to the core. I don't know. I mean, that's. I'm a Bitcoiner. Yeah, I'm a Bitcoiner. You Would can you call guys me whatever open you want. To having Ethereum no. come in? No. All right. Yeah. No worries. No. Yeah, I mean, it's really just like, you know, money trends toward one, and network protocols trend toward one. I, I agree. Mean, sure. Yeah. If you look at like, you know, OSI versus TP, TCP/IP, like obviously OSI was like way better, but TCP/IP was already entrenched. So I mean, it's layer one of the internet okay. is TCP/IP. You've seen you. that, you know, modems and stuff like that. Okay. And, yeah. And you know, something can't just be a little bit better or even ten times better. It needs to be like somewhere between a, a hundred and a thousand times better to unseat the incumbent. The incumbent. Right. When, when it comes to like a money or, or a network protocol and Bitcoin is both. And so, yeah, I mean, the way I see the place, the space playing out, like Bitcoin has a potential market size of like 100 to 250 trillion. Right. I would say like at least the coins that exist today, maybe their upside combined is maybe a trillion. Right. For all of them combined. Okay. So if your project is looking at a one in five year timeline, this is a question I kind of ask yeah. a lot for mass adoption. And I say yeah. mass adoption with meaning we're all spending Satoshis at Starbucks, right? Yeah. What kind of time frame do you think we are for that? Uh, I mean, probably like three halvings. Okay, so, so that's 2028. 20, I was going to say yeah, 20 I mean, years. Yeah, almost. I could see like 10 years 10 out. 10 years? Yeah, oh, because you have one in 2020, 2024, right. 2028. And you think by then everyone's. I mean, maybe. maybe. I mean, I, I, think, I think that it will. I think by then there will be enough people uh, at the places that Bitcoiners would shop and people that Bitcoiners would transact with. I think the people they transact with for most of the things they want in their, you know, their neighborhood or whatever will at least be able to price things in sats. They'll know how to do they'll it. They'll know what okay. it is. Yeah. They might still have, you know, uh, they'll be back on the drachma in Greece, but like if you're at the internet cafe, they're going to be able to price it in sats they'll too. Know. Okay. You know, there are a lot of cultures around the world that have multiple currencies sure. and they're able to price things in multiple currencies. And they have I mean, no it's problem. basically everywhere except the US prices things in multiple right. currencies. It's going to be no problem whatsoever. The, the mind is very adaptable. Yeah. You can certainly price things in sats within the next 10 years. For sure. Okay, I like it. Guys, give yeah. uh, give Bitcoin give bitcoin.io. Bitcoin. That's what it is. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much, Corey. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having have us. Have a great day, guys.